Hello guys, welcome to this new video on Python. In this video, what I'm going to show you is that uh, you must be doing a lot of investing in the Indian stock market, right? Now, a very common issue that investors and traders face is that to get the fundamentals of the stocks that are getting traded in the Indian market. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can extract the fundamentals of not any but every Indian stock that is basically listed on the market for free. So for this, you just need Python and uh, yeah, some coding skills. So without wasting more time, let's get started. So here I have opened the Jupyter Notebook and I have the pre-written code for you. So what I am going to do is that I will explain you the code. But before that, let's connect to the GPU. So what we have done here, we have imported Yahoo Finance as YF, we have Pandas as PD, date time, time delta and time date are being imported. Now there is a function called as get nifty 50 symbols, which basically gives you all the stock symbols which are in the nifty 50 uh, index, right? So these are all the nifty 50 index stock symbols. And uh, along with that, we are going to attach this string called as dot NS because this Yahoo Finance works very well with the NSC in, uh, exchange. So we are going to attach it to the symbol name. Then there is a second function here called as get stock data in which the parameter that is passed is the symbol. The symbol is then passed to the YF ticker that is the ticker function of the Yahoo Finance and everything is getting stored in the stock. Now in the stock, we can extract the price of the stock using the start and the end date and we are getting the price of the last 365 days. Okay. So if that is empty, it will return none. Latest price and everything is getting calculated here. Then the daily change, weekly change of the price and everything, the logic is here. For week, we are selecting six. Because six uh, in a week there might be five trading days. In a month maximum there might be 20, 21 trading days. So this is that calculated field which Yahoo Finance doesn't give, but we can do it by our own uh, using simple logic. All right. So once we have all the information in the stock variable, we get it from the info method, and everything is getting stored in the info variable. Now whatever i need from the stock right the fundamentals can be the symbol the market company name sector industry market cap the p ratio forward p ratio peg ratio price to book ratio ev ebitda then profit margin operating margin return of equity return on assets revenue revenue per share quarterly revenue growth gross profit ebitda then there is net uh, net income eps earning per share so these are basically all the important fundamentals that a trader and investor looks for when they are investing in a stock. So this all is also uh, written in a function and uh, all the data is being returned. Now this is the main function. So we get first the symbols in the nifty 50 symbols and then we loop over it and try to call this function and Yahoo Finance and everything is getting appended in this all data stock. So once everything works fine we convert everything to a data frame and then we store it in the csv and here is the main function so once the main is called so this will be called and internally it will call this function then it will call get stock data function and this is how the entire uh, code will work so i hope that this is clear so let's try to run this thing and i will show you how this entire thing looks like so my notebook is connected we are going to run the function now so it shows okay fetching data for adani enterprises then adani ports asian paint bajaj finzer dv's lab hindalgo Hindustan unilever icsa bank basically every nifty 50 stock data has been extracted and the function has been completed within eight seconds so if you open your window here you will see that we get the entire data so i'll just uh, open and show it to you so you see we have zoom it a little bit. So we have the symbol, we have the company name, sector, industry, market cap, P ratio, forward P, peg ratio, price to book, whatever basically Yahoo Finance gives us and everything is here. So in some places you will see NA as well because not every data is being captured by Yahoo Finance. But in most of the cases you will find that 
data is being captured and this data can be a gold mine for those investors and people like us who basically look towards fundamental when choosing a stock or when buying a new stock so this was for nifty 50 now what if you want the thing for entire stock market like every listed uh, security do you, uh, you want this uh, data for so what you can do is that it's very simple so i'll show you so for that we will use the same code but a little bit difference will be there so for that you have to go in the nsc india.com slash market data slash securities available for trading and they have given the particular symbols here so this is the symbol of uh, securities available for, available for equity trading so let's click on this and let's try to see what is there inside this so open with let me open with numbers so basically this is a csv given by nsc of every symbol or every listed uh, security on the nsc exchange and we just require the symbol name from there right because in the earlier example also we are passing the symbol name so now in the second code that i have here so basically we are just giving the url okay we are just giving the url we are taking it in the form of a data frame and then we are just extracting every symbol using df symbol to list function and again extracting the dot ns for nsc in the uh, in the function so this will get you all the listed entities so if you see in the uh, file so if you see in this file so there are a total number of how many let me just select everything so there are total how many listed stocks let's go on the bottom and you can see there are around 2000 stocks listed in the nse exchange so this all stocks data you will get finally and uh, when you run this entire thing this thing might take some time because we are going to get around 2000 records right and everything will be finally saved in a single file so how does this file look like so next i will show you that so if you see here now when once the code is completed you will get a file like this in which every listed entity on the indian stock market will be given to you so if you just filter out uh, everything based on market cap you will see reliance tcs and all the 50 stocks will be there uh, on the top and as you go down the market cap goes on decreasing and uh, let's try to search any random stock here so let's try to search uh, a stock called as bsf okay so we get okay bsf ns is there basic material specialty is chemical this is the market cap this is the other things that we look for pe everything everything basically every fundamental of the stock is getting extracted so you can very well use this csv for your analysis for any other purpose as well for trading investing and taking important decisions while investing in the indian stock market so i hope that this video was very useful to you and, uh, and you will be able to extract the stock fundamentals as i was able to and if you have any doubts regarding this feel free to write in the comment section below till then see you next time guys bye bye